Hello everybody, I'm Dennis Frederich from the Happiness Factory and I support ambitious leaders who want to reach more in an easier way. And each Monday I share this moment of inspiration with you, a moment where I give you a good or a bad example of leadership. And we all know that networking is very important for leaders also for entrepreneurs of course because in your network there is a lot of power and a lot of knowledge and a lot of opportunities but networking takes a lot of time you have to go to networking meetings you have to socialize there you have to take contact afterwards and so on and so on well what about an app that simplifies all that networking well such app exists and that's the reason why today I'm going to focus on Shaper. It's an app available for Android and iOS. Um, it's written S-H-A-P-R, so Shaper, or perhaps Shaper. I will uh, show the logo here, that's the in the App Store. And like you can see, it's written S-H-A-P-R. And they promote themselves by saying from uh, take the work out of business networking. Well, what does it do? Uh, first of all, you have to make a profile in the app. You can also link it with your LinkedIn profile so that the data is uh, exported into the profile. And once you have a profile, you can just uh, yeah, very shortly introduce yourself. You can also add some interests to it, up to 10 different interests. And you can also indicate what you're looking for. So, for example, for uh, freelance projects or job opportunities or perhaps investors, you can select a few of that. And once your profile is created, then Shaper will do the rest of the work. It will each day propose a batch of 10 to 20 people to you who are in your neighborhood because it's location based. And there might be a match in interests or in the things that you are looking for and you can just swipe through the batch each time you look at the profile and if you think from hey this might be an interesting person you want to meet him well then you swipe to the right if you think from no this is not a good match for me then you just swipe to the left and it passes the same thing is done on the opposite side on for the other persons and you are part of that batch and when there is a match so when you indicate for yourself from hey i want to meet that person and that person also indicates that he want, he or she wants to meet you then there is a match and once that match is established then you can start to send text messages to each other and in such a text message you can invite him or her to meet or to um, to go for a coffee or to set up a skype call or whatever you want to establish an interesting connection there a very easy thing a very easy way on how it is all done and it all works very very fine i'm using the shaper app myself for several months now already had a lot of successes with it uh, meeting interesting people from different locations and it was very very good and very interesting now i also mentioned it is location based well more or less depending on how many people are in around that neighborhood where you're using the Shaper app. Um, but in a future update, I've heard that there will be a function to teleport yourself to another location. So for example, if you're going on a business trip and you already want to establish some connections over there, then you can uh, put your location into that place where you are going for your business trip, start to meet people already online, and once you are there, to meet them in real life. So a very brilliant app. And I think it's very good for every leader and every entrepreneur to establish and to build a very good network. But there is unfortunately a but about it. And that has actually nothing to do with the app itself, but it has everything to do with the people who are using the app. Because the things that happened to me when I was using the app was that sometimes you have a connection you have the ability to send text messages to each other, but then nothing happens. Or I take the first step myself 
and I invite the other person with a text like from hey nice to see that our profiles matched uh, how great I would like to learn more about you or about the specific topic that was indicated in the profile uh, perhaps we can go for a coffee or perhaps we can uh, set up a Skype call or something and then there is just no answer also in the opposite way when there was a match and I didn't take the first step that the other person also didn't take the first step and just nothing happens. It even happened to me that there was a contact that we agreed to have a Skype call with each other to, to introduce each other and to learn more about each other. And then at the moment of the Skype call itself, the person didn't show up. Now, as I mentioned, this has nothing to do with the app itself, the technology and uh, the platform of the app. It's all working very, very fine and very good. But the people who are using it, well, that's a bit disrespectful from time to time. And of course, that's not for everybody, but it happened several times to me. And that's the reason why I'm discussing this app, because that is for me an indication of bad leadership. If you're into something, then you're into it fully. And if you're in the game, then play the game. If you're not in the game, then get out of it. And it has nothing to do with the app, because the same things occur on other fields. If you are engaged in something, then make sure you are fully engaged in, in that thing. And if people ask you a question and you are saying that you are going to reply to that question, then reply to that question. If you're getting emails and you engage yourself to reply to those emails, then reply to it. Otherwise, make sure you're out of the way, out of the game. And probably time has something to do with it because we're all very busy and we all have a lot of work and such an app on your smartphone it's nice to play with in in that moment where you have nothing to do or where you are just waiting for the next meeting and you swipe through some contacts but then suddenly some matches are created and then the time is up and you cannot reply to them or you you cannot be engaged anymore well that's something you have to think up front about if you are in the game, if you really take networking serious, if you really want to do something with it, then make sure that you're in it. Because that is true leadership, making sure that you're in it. And if you don't have the time to be fully in it and fully engaged, well, then you have to make choices. Or you quit it, or you continue it, but then you have to quit some other things. And that's perhaps uh, the most interesting thing to think about in our agenda, in our, in our priority settings, is if you want to add something, then make sure that something else is dropped. Okay, that was my opinion about it. And like always, or to summarize it, um, well, the app itself I think it's absolutely an opportunity for a lot of people to network online in a very good way and then to proceed in an offline way. But if you are using the app, make sure that you do it in a respectful way because on the other side of the app, there are also people who are using the app and you want to establish good connections there. That was it for today. And like always, everything I said, is just my totally unasked opinion about things. See you again next week Monday for a new moment of inspiration. Bye.